In this video, we'll try to understand how to draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram in case of a simply supported beam carrying uniformly distributed load and uniformly varying load. So the arrangement of the simply supported beam is as shown over here. So the total span length is of 6 meter and there is a uniformly varying load of 200 newton, from 200 newton meter up to 400 newton meter from C to B. Now our job is to convert this particular arrangement in the UDL and UVL form. So first we'll convert this particular arrangement into the UDL and UVL form. So suppose we consider only this much part of the distribution then this will become uniformly distributed load and the upper part will become the uniformly varying load. So this rectangular part is of 200 Newton per meter. This total is 400, so 400 minus 200. So this height of the triangular distribution or uniformly varying load will be 200 Newton meter. So we have converted this entire arrangement into a UDL form. So this is UDL form, which is represented by this rectangle. And this is UVL form, which is represented by this triangle. So it will be varying from 0 to 200. Now, so our first job will be to find out the UDL and UVL load and the distances at which they are acting. So here we have shown the UDL and UVL load, but first we'll see how these particular loads they are obtained. So now only concentrate on this particular rectangle. So this particular rectangle is having width of 3 meter and height of 200. So UDL load will be equal to, as it is a rectangle, the area of the rectangle you can say that width into height so it is b into h so that is width is 3 and height is 200 so udl load is 600 newton now as the cg of the rectangle lies at a half of the distance of the width so we can say that location of this udl load will be at b by 2 that is 3 upon 2 that is 1.5 meter so now you can see this particular red part so 600 newton that is the udl load and it is acting at a distance of 1.5 meter now you have to concentrate on this particular blue part which is related to the uniformly varying load. Now as we have already seen that this UVL will start from now 0 to 200 because this height is 200, this total height is 400 but we have converted this into UDL form. So this is a rectangular part. So 400 minus this 200. So this height will be only 200. So one half base into height. So base is 3 meter and height is nothing but 200 so this uvl load will be 300 newton now the cg of the triangle lies at a distance of two third b from the apex so location of this particular will be from apex it will be at a distance of two third of the width so it is two third into three so that this three three will get cancelled and you'll have two meter length so you can see this 300 newton uvl load acting at a distance of two meter from the apex of this particular white rectangular distribution part triangular distribution part so now we'll remove all this particular part so now we have converted udl into a point load as well as uvl also into a point load so our next job is to find out the beam reactions by applying the conditions of equilibrium so the first condition of equilibrium is summation of forces in y direction is equal to zero upward forces they are considered as positive whereas downward forces they are considered as negative so ra and rb they are acting in the upward direction whereas 600 and 300 newton force they are acting in the downward direction so we can say that ra plus rb is equal to 900 newton now call this as our equation one now the second condition of equilibrium is summation of moments is equal to zero so we'll take moment about point a considering clockwise moments positive and anti-clockwise moments negative. So start with this RB. The arrow of this RB will go in the anti-clockwise direction towards A. So it is negative. So minus RB and from B up to A, the perpendicular distance is 6 meter. Then this 600 Newton load will have clockwise moment about A. So it is 600 from this point up to A, the distance is 3 plus 1.5 that is 4.5 and this 300 newton it will also produce clockwise moment so it is 3 plus 2 that is 5 so this is 4200 transfer this minus rb term on this side it will become positive now divide by 6 so 4200 divided by 6 will give the value of rb that is 700 newton now substitute this value 
in equation 1. So RA plus RB is equal to 900. So RA will be equal to 900 minus RB. So that is 900 minus 700 that is 200 Newton. So now we have obtained the values of reactions RA and RB. Our next job is to find to find out the or to perform the SFD calculations that is shear force diagram calculations considering the upward forces positive and downward forces negative. Now shear force at A is 200 Newton. Shear force at C is also 200 Newton because there is no other force that is acting between A and C. Now shear force just at the left of the B. So without considering this upward acting reaction RB will be nothing but RA and the converted UDL load and UVL load. So RA is 200 UDL load which we have already calculated earlier and UVL load also we have calculated. So this will be minus 700 Newton and shear force exactly at point B to this minus 700 we have to add the upward reaction of 700 Newton that is zero. So using these values we have to draw the shear force diagram. So at A it is 200 remains same up to C and then becomes minus 700 and then becomes zero over here. So we can say that this is the point where the shear force is becoming zero. So shear force diagram changes its sign over here. So we have to find out this particular distance x. Now we'll extrapolate this as section xx and we have to consider all the forces on the left hand side of this particular section that is xx section. So again we'll convert this particular distribution into a rectangular distribution that is UDL as well as the UVL part. So this total distance is x so this will be 3 meter so this is x minus 3 meter. UDL load will be 200 multiplied by x minus 3. Then for UVL we have to consider for 3 meter length the load that was acting was 200 Newton meter that we have already seen. Then for x minus 3 meter what will be the load that is acting. So UVL that will be acting over here that is this particular height only this much particular height small small triangle that we have shown over here in the white part this particular height will be equal to 200 into x minus 3 divided by 3 and the total UVL load will be one half base into height. So base is x minus 3 and this height we have calculated as 200 into x minus 3 upon 3 or we can say that it is 200 divided by 6 x minus 3 bracket square. So the UDL load is of 200 into x minus 3 and UVL load will be of 200 by 6 x minus 3 square. Now this is the section x is now we will consider all the forces on the left hand side of this particular section x x. Now this is the UDL load that is 200 into x minus 3 as shown by this particular red downward acting arrow and it will be act at the center of x minus 3 meter length. This blue part this downward acting arrow is indicating the uniformly varying load that just now we have calculated as 200 by 6 x minus 3 square and from the base it will be acting at a distance of b by 3 that is x minus 3 by so these distances are also important while calculating the bending moment but first we will find out the point of zero shear. So shear force at any section at section xx we have to consider all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of this particular section xx. So on the left hand side we are having RA which is acting in the upward direction, downward acting UDL which is indicated by this rectangle and this UVL load which is indicated by this white part that is 200 by 6 x minus 3 square which we have already calculated. But we know that shear force at this point is at this section is 0. So RA is acting in the upward direction so it is positive. These two loads they are acting in the downward direction so they are negative. Now let us assume that this x minus 3 is equal to y and transfer this both these negative terms on this side they will become positive and this 200 on this side that will become negative. So we can solve this particular second degree equation and you will get y as 0 0.8729 meter. But y is x minus 3 so x will be 3.8729 meter. So at a distance of x is equal to 3.8729 meter from A or from the left hand support the value of shear force is what it is 0. Now we will find out the bending moment also at this particular point. 
So already we have seen this particular distances. So let us find out using these distances what will be the bending moment. So conventions that we are using for bending moment is clockwise positive and anti-clockwise negative. So at section xx. So consider all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of this section xx. So RA, the upward acting RA will produce clockwise moment about this section. So it is RA and from A up to this xx the distance is what? It is x. Then this red downward acting arrow will produce anti-clockwise moment. So 200 into x minus 3 is the load and x minus 3 upon 2 is the perpendicular distance. This blue downward acting arrow of the UVL which we have converted into point load is 200 by 6 x minus 3 square its perpendicular distance about xx is x minus 3 upon 3. In other words we can say that it will be RA into x minus 200 x minus 3 into x minus 3 that is x minus 3 square and here x minus 3 square into x minus 3 that is x minus 3 cube and now you can substitute x is equal to 3.8729 meter over here so that will get bending moment at this particular section as 691 newton meter now bending moment at other points we have to calculate so at the end points or support points the bending moment will be zero so a and b the bending moment is zero bending moment at c we have to find out consider all the forces on the left hand side of a uh, left hand side of c so it is ra will produce clockwise moment about c because it is upward acting arrow it will produce clockwise moment about c so that is 200 into 3 so 200 and perpendicular distance is 3 between a and c then bending moment at section xx already we have calculated as 691 newton meter and at b it will be zero so using these values we can draw the bending moment diagram so bending moment at a is zero at b is zero at c it is 600 and at section xx it is 691 newton meter so in this way we can draw shear force and bending moment diagram in case of simply supported beam carrying uniformly distributed load as well as uniformly varying load thank you very much for watching